AI. AI. AIs. AI. AI is AI. 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 GPT-5 is here, but is it the AI revolution we've been waiting for? or just another corporate rebrand. Let's break it down fast and practical. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we cut through AI hype and show you how to actually use it in business and life. Today we're talking about ChatGPT5, what's new, what's improved, and the real pros and cons you need to know before you switch. Here's the big news. It's the new default across ChatGPT, even for free users. It's now an auto switching system there's no more picking between models. You can choose auto, fast, or thinking modes. So now let's break down the pros and what this actually means for you. Number one, smarter reasoning. Better at multi-step problem solving. You can run more complex workflows without breaking them into smaller props. Number two, cleaner code generation. Fewer bugs, fewer wasted tokens. Your prototypes or scripts will get to usable faster, saving both time and money. Point number three, longer memory. Great for big picture work. What this means for you, you can feed an entire strategy doc, contract or data set and have it refine, compare or challenge in one go. And lastly, a no code perks. Canvas and other tools making building faster. You can spin up POC apps or automations in minutes without touching a line of code. Vibe coders are gonna get very excited. But how about the cons? Con number one, tone shift. It feels colder and less human than GPT-40. Well, just keep GPT-40 handy for client-facing creative work or anywhere tone-related matters. Con number two, regression in some areas. Summarization and creativity aren't always better. Test your existing prompts before swapping them into GPT-5 so you don't lose quality. Con number three, opaque auto routing. Not always clear which model's responding. In regulated work, avoid auto mode so you can guarantee traceability. Con number four, costs. Heavy use sits behind a $200 per month pro tier. What this means for you, reserve GPT-5 for high value tasks where the ROI justifies the spend. And the last point, lock-in risk. Building everything in GPT-5 makes it harder to switch later. Use an orchestration layer so you can swap models without rebuilding your entire workflow. Here's your quick test. Take one workflow you currently run in GPT-40, maybe summarizing a report, generating code, run it in both GPT-40 and GPT-5 with the same prompt. Compare speed, accuracy, and see what they're like side by side. For me, GPT-5 is in for deep reasoning, coding, and big context analysis. But GPT-40 stays for creative and human-centric work. If you try GPT-5, drop your verdict in the comments. Revolution or just another fancy patch? Hope you enjoyed, as always, just on a mission to make you the smartest person in the room when it comes to AI. See you next time.